All right, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. Okay, I am sorry for not posting over the last month or so. I have been really busy, okay? Uh, I've been creating a website and also uh, I took the Escape Studios uh, taster course, okay? And they're really cool over there. The Visual Effects Academy, they have e-learning and I basically took the introductory e-learning course and it was a two week kind of deal and it was really cool. I learned a ton of great stuff and they are, they do a top notch job over there, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, a, an idea of what happened there and share with you a really cool UV mapping uh, little technique, okay? So yeah, go over to um, Escape Studios and, and get a username and password and they have lots of free tutorials over there and um, some really good stuff so you know if you want to learn a lot about Maya um, this is a great place to do it as well okay so let me take you through the process of what I was learning there um, I'm gonna jump into Maya here they sort of start in this taster course with a pre-built scene and I have the cart here selected and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and you can see where they've sort of mapped a background plate uh, to a, a render camera. And it has some movement and some motion to it. And then in the course, they teach you how to model this cart and how to sort of animate it coming through the tube, um, how to do some projection texturing, um, how to do some lighting, um, and some really cool stuff. Okay, now one of the things I found most interesting was just the UV mapping on, on this cart. Okay, so that's kind of how the scene is pre-built. Now I went ahead, I'm going to hit escape here and I'm going to bring up a quick time movie. This is what I ended up with because I switched it up a little bit and I kind of went with um, some different themes on the texturing and I attached a uh, image sequence back here for some fire <laughs> made it a little more creepy okay so yeah that that's pretty cool that's that's what I learned how to sort of offset the timing on the animation with a graph editor um, yeah um, some pretty cool stuff so anyway the course you'll take over there will lead you through this whole process of doing a lot of different things in Maya so let me show you um, a little bit um, in the render view here is the cart okay and this is what I found most interesting was you know the, the the texture mapping a little bit and here's the UV snapshot okay so essentially what you want to do uh, with any UV this this works across the board for anything that you're doing once you have all of your parts and they're all kind of laid out correctly on a UV map um, this is a little technique of how to do some texturing that will save you lots of headaches and it's really a cool little workflow so anyway that's what I want to show you is how to work with a UV map and we're going to be doing this in Photoshop so this isn't really Maya this is more texturing in um, Photoshop so for the moment I'm going to get rid of that but I want to show you first another project I've been working on which is the deep fried ectoplasm website <laughs> okay so over here on the home page you're gonna have your basic blog with all the new stuff that I learned about and just you know industry stuff whatever I have a tutorial section over here if I click that um, these are gonna be links to tutorials I find about Maya and all sorts of interesting stuff by really great people who do tutorials as well so that's really cool have the deep node going over here which this is a donation amount so it really it's it's you can donate any amount a dollar and above I think that's the limit is a dollar <laughs> okay so if you appreciate what I do buy me a cup of coffee a cheeseburger or maybe even a bacon cheeseburger I don't know but <laughs> anything you want to donate you can donate and then you'll have access and you can download any of these tutorials I post over here um, and this is just a way for me to sort of expand my horizons and maybe, you know, make a little bit of income. Um, it's not going to be a lot, trust me. But, you know, this site will grow and this section will grow and you're free to download anything you want from here. And um, there you go. So this is my starting lineup of tutorials. And what will happen is when you donate, you'll get a username, a password 
to get in here and establish a username and then you can start downloading anything you want. Now the only thing I ask is that you don't re-upload anything to YouTube. Um, sharing with your friends is perfect um, but as far as you know anything else um, I just ask that you don't be a good person you know don't re-upload to YouTube okay because I'm gonna post free you uh, tutorials on YouTube as well okay and then I have the end store which I'm gonna have some stuff for sale this is just under construction at the moment uh, I have a gallery so the gallery over here is going to feature artwork of all the different kinds, um, mostly digital art, but it'll also go into photography and sculpture and painting and, and some other things by great artists, I find. Okay, so feel free to check that out. I have a starting kind of lineup here of some really fine artists. And um, yeah, so check out the gallery. Now, if you want to contact me, feel free to go ahead and just click on contact and you can leave a message by just clicking here and um, over here in the archive I'll have stuff posted that may be needed for tutorials or just some cool stuff you know whatever I can find to archive I will <laughs> okay so that's deep fried ectoplasm go over there check it out it's gonna be a day-to-day -day thing or maybe a weekly thing I mean it's taken me a little while to put this together so um, this is gonna be a really cool site all right so there you go. Let's get on with, um, with some texture mapping. Now, what you want to do with any texture map, uh, the normal procedure is just to select your object that you've modeled and go to polygons and come down to UV snapshot. And then, you know, click on this browse button, save it out as, you know, something. I think I saved this one already as the UV snapshot roller coaster right here. Okay, so I already saved that out and I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, exit. This is a 1024 by 1024. If you need really high resolution textures you might want to go to 2048 um, and I chose a color value of white for this area okay for, for our UV lines and that that works in a, a number of different ways I'm going to show you why. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and hit close because I already have this one saved out. Now Let's jump over into Photoshop for a second, and I'm going to open up that I'm going to open up that um, file in Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, Open, and the one I had there was um, on my desktop. It was this UV snapshot roller coaster. I'm going to hit Open, and there it is. Okay, so really, it's it's a pretty easy process, and and I'm I'm going to show you something that's really cool. Um, you have a background layer when it comes in here. I'm going to double click on that and I'm just going to, it's going to say, okay, layer zero and I'm going to hit okay. And that takes it from an unlocked position or from a locked position to an unlocked position. And that's the first step in doing what we're doing here. Okay, so that's about it. Now, what I want to do is I want to go and I want to make a default foreground color because we're going to make another layer. So I'm going to click on over here. I'm going to reset these by just clicking on this little icon right here. And this is a pure black and pure white. I'm going to reverse the foreground and background. So the foreground is now white. The background is black. But I want to choose this white color by clicking in the white box there and set it to something kind of like an off-white, kind of like in that area. And I'm going to hit OK. And now what I want to do is create a new layer. I'm going to go to layer, new layer, and it's going to be called layer one. I'll hit OK, and there it is. So I'm going to turn off my background layer, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to select layer one. I want to come into edit, and I want to come down to fill, and it says fill the contents of this layer with the foreground color. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. You could do that with the paint bucket tool, but you know this this should suffice for what we're doing now okay now I have two layers one that's the gray layer and one that's our UVs I think what I'll do is I'm gonna label this one our UV layer okay so I'll go UV and layer and then I'm gonna set this layer number one to what I'm gonna call my background layer okay so I'll go background layer and we'll set that there now 
I want to take my background layer and I want to put it below my UV layer. That way I can see my UV layer because it's on top. And now we're pretty good to go. What I want to do is I want to select this UV layer up here. And instead of normal, I want to set this one to difference. Okay? So I'm going to come down and set that layer to difference. All right. Now, what that does is that allows me to have a color I can choose back here to get rid of unwanted stuff. And I'm going to show you how that works here. Um, let's say, for example, I want to texture this area of the cart right here with some sort of rusty texture. OK, well, I have an image over here, which is some some rust. OK, that just looks like some basic rust. All I'm going to do is go ahead and let's say I, I select this take my selection tool, select this here, this image that's open in Photoshop, and drop it into my new, um, into, into this, this new uh, Photoshop file, okay? Well, you can see where it's on top right now, and it should be in, in the center. Let me back off a little bit here, and I'm going to sort of shift and grab a corner and downsize this quite a bit and put it in an area where I want it to be, okay? I kind of want it to be in that area. Now, you'll notice that I can't really see, you know, the, the UV lines. I'm going to hit Enter just to set that um, crop, and I'm going to take this layer and, and put it in the middle of these two layers, okay? So now I can see exactly what I'm doing with my UV right here. If I zoom in a little bit, and I select this layer, I'm going to choose this layer, I can kind of move it around, well, I'm not doing it there, I'm going to go to edit, undo, and let's see if we can select this layer. Oh, that's one thing that's really important right here, is that we want to select this UV layer, and I want to command select this background layer, and we want to lock those, okay? That way we can't touch them, nothing, nothing can affect them. <laughs> That's why everything was moving around. Okay, so now I have this layer selected. I can freely move that around. So I'm going to position it sort of in this area that I want it to be. And let's say that that, that is the exact sort of alignment I want this, this to be in here. Well, that's all great. I'm going to scroll back a little bit here. And that's exactly what I want, okay? So... I'm going to leave this here for a second, and I'm going to choose this UV layer, all right? And what I want to do with that is I want to choose the UV layer and select the Magic Wand tool and sort of select any area that is in this off gray, all right? I don't want to select a, a UV line, but when I select this off gray area, you can see where everything changes, okay? We have the marching ants around all of our, our UVs. Okay, so now that I have these UVs selected, I want to go to my layer number one, which is my texture, and I want to hit delete. Okay, and look at how magically everything disappears. <laughs> that is the coolest little trick. All right, very easy to do. Now, I want to hit Command D to deselect the marching ants or our selection. And now that I'm on layer one, I notice that I have a few little leftovers um, kind of here and there. All you got to do is select your eraser tool and come in and erase. Okay, and that's it. That is the coolest thing. Now, why is that cool? Well, it just lets you exactly place a texture so that it doesn't spill out onto any of your other texture space. And um, yeah, that's just like one cool trick I learned from Escape Studios. <laughs> okay, so hey, that's it for this tutorial. Um, just remember when you take other textures, bring them in, put them in between your UV layer and your background, and you can do the same process for every texture you do. Okay, so there you go. I hope you learned something. Please check out www.deepfriedectoplasm.com. Dot com and come by and see me often leave me a message and as always read a book okay be a good person and i will see you for the next one all right thanks for watching